Those are mine. These are mine. Cases in Houston are spiking. Got my yearbook. I'm so excited to go home and try the stuff that I got because I got a lot of new stuff. Oh, it was hard on me in my heart and my soul and i just i could only imagine for you as the viewer to watch that hey y'all welcome back to another vlog so today is tuesday i believe i just woke up from a nap so as y'all probably know i have been cleaning up my closet and decluttering my closet for months now months and i have not gotten rid of any of the clothes that i have you know been supposed to have given away i haven't given away any of them a part of it was my fault i didn't know if i wanted to give it away and i wasn't ready to let go of it and the other reason why i didn't do it yet is because whenever corona was getting really bad all the stores and stuff were shutting down so i didn't even get the chance to go take it anywhere but i have decided that i'm going to take some of the clothing that i have decided to get rid of to plato's closet so if you guys don't know what plato's closet is it's basically like a teenage clothing shop and they basically buy your old clothes from you there are some conditions though the clothes have to be in good condition and they have to be kind of somewhat up on the style and the trend of right now but pretty much they will buy your clothes from you so that's what i'm going to do and then whatever i don't think that they're going to buy i'm probably going to end up taking to the goodwill to donate it i'm going to go get my bag out of the closet that i've been hoarding for months and i'm going to go through the clothes one more time and put it inside of a plastic container because this morning when i called they said that some changes have been made to their policy and that was that i have to bring the clothes into a plastic open container plastic box or laundry basket something like that and i have a laundry basket it is white and it just looks like this so that's why i'm going to be taking my clothes in but first i need to get the bag out and look through the stuff one more time before i decide to give it away just to be sure that that's what i want to do and that i don't want to keep anything or something like that so let's just get started so at this point i have two full bags to go through plus i have stuff that i recently bought that i don't think i want anymore so i might be adding that to this stuff but we'll just see what i end up doing with everything mm, i think i want to keep these so I'm just gonna put it over here to the side. All right, so I have all of my clothes in here packed up and ready to go. I have some jeans, one skirt, like two sweaters, one pair of zebra sandals, and like some rompers and dresses. So now that I have all these clothes ready to go, I'm just gonna go ahead and change and head out. All right, y'all, so I'm dressed and I'm ready to go. I do want to show y'all my outfit though real quick. These shorts are by Levi's. As y'all know, these are like my favorite. And then this top, I got this from Marshalls. But I really like the style of this top. I like the neckline. I like the scrunched in waist and how it flares out right here. So, this is really cute. I am still debating on what shoes i should wear should i wear the sparkly sandals or the gold ones i just feel like the gold pops more so i don't know but then the silver matches with the white i don't know i'm just gonna go with the silver ones I just got stopped by the traffic cop. She's trying to make sure that none of these clothes are hers. These are all mine. Mm -hmm. What about those pants right there? Those pants are mine. All of them. Just all my stuff. What size them got on them? This side, I know exactly what size. These are the light ones are a 26. The dark wash is a 27. And then the other one is a 27. The black one is 27. I'd like to see them. Y'all, she making me pull out all of my stuff to make sure that none of it is hers. This is ridiculous. I can't believe it. This jacket. Okay. These pants. 
These loft jeans, 27, are mine. Those are mine. These are mine. Where you get the loft jeans from? Mama, I thrifted these. I thrifted these. You're not Where a size 27. You ever? Yes, you're I not, am. No, you're not a yes, size 27. <laughs> you're not a size Flag 27. Takira. These are not yours. Those are my pants. No, they're not. Just put them on. Put them on. And don't shimmy. Put them on. <laughs> well, I got to put jump them no, on. No, don't shimmy. Update. The jeans are not hers, just as I knew. I had everything laid out in my basket perfectly, the way that I wanted them to go through it. I wanted them to look through the jeans first, and then the floral prints, and then the sweaters. All right, y'all, so I made it to Plato's Closet. As y'all can see right there, um, it's definitely hot outside, so I'm sorry if you can hear the AC blasting. Super hot, but I'm just gonna put my mask on, first and foremost, because cases in Houston are spiking. Just got back into this hot car. They said that it'll be like a four hour wait, so I'll come back around like seven, eight o'clock-ish. It just has to be before nine, which is the time that they close. So right now, I don't know what I'm gonna get into. I thought that I wanted to just go out and kind of just chill, but it's just way too hot to be out here in this weather, y'all. I'm about to have a heat stroke, so I think I might just go home, or maybe I'll go to the mall or something. Just walk around chill in the air condition <laughs> i'll talk to y'all a little bit later whenever i come back to get my clothes i'm just really praying that they keep everything because they don't take stuff that's not like really in style or up to date which i feel like my style is pretty up to date i know that i have an old soul but i feel like my clothes don't really show it so hopefully they take all of my stuff because i don't really want to make multiple trips to different places <laughs> It is the next day. I know I've been doing such a bad job, but let's just ignore that. So it's the next day. It's like almost 10 a.m. And right now I'm on my way to my school or my ex school, my old high school. It's crazy to say that now, but it's my old high school. I'm gonna go pick up my yearbook and then after that, I might go to Walmart because I really wanna get a mount for my camera and my phone whenever I drive. And then I might go to, well actually I'm gonna go to Trader Joe's, I might go to Walmart. I'm for sure gonna go to Trader Joe's because there's some stuff that I wanna get and it's kinda early. I think they just opened like about an hour ago and I really want to browse around last time I was at Trader Joe's I saw all this stuff that I wanted but I forgot to get a basket and you have to like leave out of the store to get a basket and then there's only like a certain amount of people that can be in there so I didn't want to leave and then lose my spot and then have to wait in line again so I was just like carrying a whole bunch of stuff the shopping experience wasn't so great for me but this time I'm gonna get a basket so that I can browse Got my yearbook, y'all. I was trying to record, but you can see the name of the school, so I didn't. My friend Hannah was the editor-in-chief of yearbook this year, so I'm really proud. Oh, oh, it's supposed to pop off like that. Okay. Okay, that makes more sense. So I'm excited to look back through this. Okay, so I just made it to Trader Joe's. I'm about to go inside. I'm going to remember my basket this time so that I can take my time and really shop. I'm going to go in here get some stuff to try out and go home and eat because I'm hungry. I hadn't eaten anything this morning yet. Oh shoot. I 
just made it back to the car. I got my food from Trader Joe's. Y'all, I'm so excited. I'm so excited to go home and try the stuff that I got because I got a lot of new stuff. I had a basket this time, so I was able to take my time and browse and stroll through the aisles. And so that's what I did. And I got a lot of cool stuff. I just... I need to hurry up and get home because I am really excited to show y'all what I got. But then also, I got some ice cream and it is super hot so I don't want it to melt. So I'm about to go home. I don't know how I'm going to carry uh, those two bags upstairs because those bags are heavy. That man really loaded those bags. So I'll talk to y'all whenever I get home. I know I keep saying that but I'm just, I'm just excited. So I'm just going gonna, gonna to go now. Okay, time to get these heavy groceries. Alright y'all, so y'all saw, I was trying to record myself carrying the groceries up and both of the straps snapped on this bag because the guy bagging my groceries didn't double bag this one. Anyways, so I got these organic carrots. These are for my mom. Um, I probably won't be eating these. Vegetable samosas, a vegetable filling and Indian spices wrapped in a crisp flaky pastry. These look really good. Pesto tortellini. And I love pasta, so y'all know I had to try this out. This is the arugula and parmigiano. Reggiano? Reggiano? Ravioli? I don't know. It's ravioli. I got some cheese. This is just mozzarella cheese. Orange chicken. Multi-grain vegetable blend. The vegetable fried rice. Roasted garlic hummus. We had to get some tater tots. Vanilla non-dairy frozen ice cream made with almonds. So I'm going to do a little quick taste test for this real quick because I'm really excited about it and I also have to put it in the freezer before it melts. Here is the ice cream. The texture looks to be normal. If y'all don't know, I like to eat my ice cream with a fork so don't be alarmed. This is normal behavior. I'm really not mad at it. It's actually pretty good. On to bag number two. Butter popcorn. It's really good. I've had that before. Some pita chips to go with the hummus. Got some naan bread. Pizza sauce to go with the naan bread because I'm planning on making a mini pizza with the naan bread, pizza sauce, and the mozzarella cheese. Chocolate chip chewy granola bar. Black tea with peach juice. Strawberry sparkling beverage. I was doing my transition. Okay y'all, so as you can see here, this is my finished pizza. I just dropped it trying to do my transition, but um, that's that's the gist of it. So, <laughs> there you go. That is my failed dinner. All right y'all, so it's a lot later. I finished eating my pizza earlier. Dropping that pizza was just, it was hard on me and my heart and my soul. And I just, I could only imagine for you as the viewer to watch that, I'm I'm so sorry. It was just treacherous. I'm kidding. I'll talk to y'all in my next video. Thank y'all for watching and I'm out. If you're doing what everyone else is doing, you're doing it wrong.